everyone. We are here in Springfield at the amazing Outdoor Muni Theater, and I've got Craig McFarland here, who's representing the theater. And Craig, how are you today? I'm doing great. Yourself? I'm great. Well, you've got a huge, well, a great list of shows lined up. Mm -hmm. Four shows. Tell us a little bit about them and what to expect from the summer season. Absolutely. We've already opened up our summer season with Peter Pan, and that'll be continuing uh, this weekend, actually. And then after that, we're going to have Evita for the first time on our stage since 1985. We will have a Muni debut of Thoroughly Modern Millie. And then at the end of the summer, we're all going home. We're going to go to The Wizard of Oz uh, for August. So we're really excited about the season and excited about uh, the diverse offerings that we have, and especially having two really, truly family-oriented shows with Peter Pan and the Wizard of Oz. That's always a great time. Uh, a dance-heavy show with Early Modern Millie. And then just a classic, um, really vocal-heavy show that just requires a lot of vocal talent like Evita. Uh, it's going to be a really great season. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about Evita. I feel like our audience might not be as familiar with it, which is a great way to introduce some people to a brand new musical. Absolutely. So um, it was actually made into a movie adaptation. Madonna starred the lead role in Evita in the 90s. Uh, so people might remember it from the film adaptation, but it's basically the story of Eva Perón, and she was uh, this leader, the spiritual leader of Argentina, who died far too young of ovarian cancer, right around the age of 32, and it's sort of her rise, almost like a rags-to-riches type of story, um, but also factoring in some of the political discourse in Argentina at the time. Not everyone was a fan of Eva Perón, and that's definitely thought of in the show and um, put into the show. It's by Andrew Lloyd Webber. You might know the song Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. Uh, yes. That's the big one of the show. And our cast is just so incredible. I heard them sing the other night, and it's very difficult mu music, and they are just nailing it all the way through. And if you'll take a look behind us, it looks like we've got a set up for a show tonight, right? And that's Peter Pan. And you're in the cast, I hear. Yes, I get to play Smee. So I get to be the, the comedic guy, the, the sidekick to Captain Hook, and it's just going so well. Uh, we had great audiences our first weekend, and it's just a wonderful night. You know, you can bring out the whole family, you can sit on a picnic blanket, you can bring your own lawn chairs or sit in our seats here, um, bring in your own concessions, or we have our concession stand. We try to make it as easy as possible to just enjoy a night of live theater. And where are these actors coming from? Kind of all over the area. So Devin Lemming uh, is our Peter Pan, and he's brand new to the Muni stage, never been on it before, and he's coming over from Decatur. Of course, we have a lot of people that draw from the Springfield area. Uh, our lead for Evita, she's coming in from Petersburg. So it just depends. Uh, it's sort of all over the area. People do come down, uh, even when they're done with school or in college. We've had college students come down, live in Springfield for the summer, just to get the experience of being able to perform at a place like the Muni. And the Muni is so unique. It's outside. What's kind of special about that environment as an actor or a performer? It's sort of the beauty of it, you know. Uh, first of all, of course, we have to deal with weather, and that can be frustrating at times, right? Because we do have to potentially have rain cancellations and things like that. But there's nothing like uh, that cool breeze while you're watching or performing on stage, uh, looking up and just seeing the moon and the stars. It's just a really cool uh, experience, whether from the audience side or from the acting side. And of course, uh, Muni has this kind of tradition. You're not a Muni actor until you get a bug to fly in your face. <laughs> uh, and that's kind of a fun I'm thing, too. Can only right? Imagine, yeah. yeah. All right, so I know you have some season passes available. Will you talk mm -hmm. a little bit about those? Yes, season passes will be available through the end of Peter Pan, uh, and they are $60 for basically four tickets, and you can use those four tickets in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and then we also have reserve seating the night of the show, which runs anywhere from $15 to $17. And then we have general admission lawn seating as well, where you just bring your own lawn chair, bring your own uh, picnic blanket, and you can sit on the lawn. Those are all day of sales, and they start right around $12 for adults. So for our CI Giving, you are sponsoring it, and we are giving away two passes on Mondays to your shows. Can you tell us about that? Yes, absolutely. So again, these passes are uh, that you can use for any combination of the shows that you'd like to come to, and we hope that you uh, come out and experience this live theater that we have and what we're bringing to the table. Uh, Springfield and just Central Illinois in general has such a rich crop of actors and actresses out there that are just so immensely talented. Um, coming from a different area other than Central Illinois, 
I, the community theater can get, sometimes get a bad reputation, um, but here it is just so well done, and everyone puts in such a effort to make sure that they're giving you the best performance possible. So we hope you win the tickets, and we hope that you enjoy us. If you've never been to the Muni, welcome you to the Muni. Uh, it's a great place to come out and spend an evening of Broadway Under the Stars. Yeah, come out and support the arts in Springfield, and if you'd like to learn more about the Muni, we'll connect you to the website on our website, ciliving.tv.